Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Everything in the universe starts out as just a block. What comes of those blocks is up to those who wield them. And in every block there lies the potential to create or destroy. Our friends have traveled far and wide in search of the Order of the Stone. And a way to stop the Wither Storm for good. But even well-laid plans can go awry. The strong can grow weak. And beloved heroes can fall. The threat to this world, to its very existence, is far from over. So you're ready to die for them? Well, no. Jesse! They're falling behind! Axel, you gotta move faster! He's too sick. This is the best we can do. They're not gonna be able to outrun it. Not on foot! We gotta find a way to move faster. We just need to get them moving faster. Bingo! Everybody, get on! Jesse, we got this. We'll take the reins, and they can just hang on. I've got Petra! Then I'll take Gabriel. Hold on, this might be a bumpy ride.
It's gaining on us! It's coming after us! It's getting closer! Watch out! This is a nightmare! Am I awake? Try to keep it together, Petra. she was inside the wither storm, she might have wither sickness like me. I don't know. You've never acted the way she's been acting. Hey, how are you feeling? I don't really feel like myself. I still can't believe you're even alive. Do you not recognize us? I'm Axel. This is Olivia. We've been friends for a really long time. She doesn't... ...know us. Any of us. But we've known her for... Practically forever. I know. I, I know, but look at her. Jesse, this is awful. You, Jesse. You're the one who rescued me. Tell me, please, what is going on? All I remember was endless blackness. You were caught in the wither storm for a long time, Petra. Really? I can't remember any of it. All I know is, I was so scared in there. I thought for sure I was dying. Well, you didn't. You made it back alive. It's more than I can say for some of us. Oh, man. Eligard. For a second, I almost forgot. Are we talking about Eligard? Yeah. Ah, oh, Ellie. Still can't believe the old girl's gone. How? How could this have happened? To lose not just a friend, but a member of the Order of the Stone. All I know is she'd want us to keep fighting, no matter what. In fact, she'd tell us that we had to. <laughs> You're right, she would. Indeed. Ah! Being emotional is getting us nowhere! What I want to know is, what happened out there today? Why is that thing still alive? My instructions were simple. You were the one in the middle of everything. What went wrong? You tell me. Excuse me? Well, you're the one who thought we could destroy the command block with a big old bomb. So the command block is still out there? Of course it is. Oh, great. And now, to make matters worse, we've gone from one wither storm to three. 
Our plan was a total failure! I should have cast the foul thing into the abyss. Why didn't I destroy that cursed block ages ago? So, is the command block controlling all three Witherstones? Oh, uh, why are you asking me? Am I expected to know every last thing in the universe? Uh, I need a moment to think. Is he always like this? <laughs> you have no idea. That jacket, it looks familiar. Lucas always wears that jacket. No, I saw other people wearing it when I was being thrown from that dead monster. Ah, even thinking about it hurts. Hey, hey, it's okay. Jesse, if what Petra said is true, I mean, do you think? I thought for sure they were gone, but... It... Lucas, your friends could still be out there! I know, and that means I... I gotta go after them. They might need me, Jesse. <gasps> the room. Everything's spinning. You're okay. Easy does it. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. I thought the other ocelots were dead, but if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far. You can't just up and leave, Lucas. You're part of our team. And you saying that just reminds me that I left my team. But Lucas... Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if your heart's telling you to go, then you gotta go. Otherwise, you'd be heartless or something. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'll find them, and then I'll find you again, too. I promise. Thanks. over cobblestone might come in handy. Jesse, hello. Just making the rounds. I know you're not feeling well, Gabriel, but we can't stay here long. We have to keep moving. As much as I wish I could leap to my feet and launch myself back on that horse, I... <laughs> I'm running on fumes here. You need to rest. You're right, I do. Look, Jesse, wherever you guys go next, give him some time to get his strength back. Problem is, we don't have time. Jesse's right. In fact, it might be best if my journey ends here. This cave is safe, easy to defend. It's relatively comfortable. I might even find a shred of peace. If that's what you feel is best, then I support it. You've been through too much as it is. Thank you, Jesse. I'm just sorry that I can't be there for you. Me too. <sighs> Nothing had to turn out like this. If the order had just been different, if we'd made smarter choices, Ivor wouldn't have turned into a maniac and... Well, maybe Elagard would still be alive. Come on, let's, let's not talk about the old days. But how can we not? So many lives torn asunder. You guys did your best. Whatever happened back then, you can't blame yourselves for it. Things were complicated then, Jesse. But I appreciate you saying that. All this talk of the past has me exhausted. You need to rest. Will he be okay? I don't know. Just get back out there and kick some butt. For the both of us.
Petra, how are you doing? Are you remembering things yet? I... I don't know. These little flashes keep coming back to me, but then they float away again. We've been trying to talk to her, but... It's like she's never met us before. I know I've met you before. Before today, I mean. I just don't remember how, exactly. I keep seeing a dark alley, but then that turns into trees. You totally came to my rescue in the forest, remember? I think that pig was there, right? Uh, Reuben, yes! And he was better at fighting than you, right? Uh, hey, I, I wouldn't say that. Yes, it's working. You're remembering Jesse. Do you remember me, too? No. And yet, I feel like I know all of you, somehow. Maybe it's the way you're dressed. Of course you know us. We're the no-names. The no-names? Kind of a cop-out, isn't it? Wait. Didn't we all fight that wither thing together? Yes! We totally did. She remembers it. I remember her running to a, a, a temple in the woods, and we were going to be safe there. And how did I end up inside that thing? Um, well, something bad happened there. I, I couldn't save you. Things were happening so fast, and it, that thing was powerful. Well, thank you for trying. Um... Sure. All that matters is you're with us now. And that you're still a fighter. The best one I know. So, what do you say? Will you be part of our group again? All right. Count me in. <laughs> Ugh. Pig? <laughs> Reuben! you came along. Just don't tell Reuben I said that. He might get jealous. Reuben! Don't run off on me like that, okay? don't want to lose you, you understand? <laughs> yeah, I know you've run off before, but things are different now. We've lost too many people already. The world needs us, Reuben. So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. Well, maybe that is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. things now. You say that like it's my fault. It is your fault. Oh, take responsibility for once, Soren. Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? Haven't you done enough, Ivor? Like, say, single-handedly destroying the entire world? Well, technically I set in motion a series of events whose end result appears to it's be... It's the same thing! What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Yes, Soren. That amulet. That explains why the Witherstorm's been following us. But Gabriel wasn't even with you when it attacked Redstonia. I have the amulet, Ivor. I have all along. What? I... I didn't know. Ugh, <sighs> Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? 
Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well, except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. The Withers gaze passed over them, and they went wild. Soren, do you think Enderman could actually destroy one of those things? Well, it's not beyond imagination. If there were enough of them working together, it's a promising concept, at least in theory. If I'm seeing all the pieces correct. But to actually destroy a Witherstorm, we'd need hundreds of them. There's probably more than enough of them taking refuge in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush! Ivor for once! Huh. Question is, how to bring the Storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. We know for a fact the Witherstorm will follow the amulet. So if we take the amulet back to your fortress where the Endermen are... Yes. Yes, that's it! We'll lead them straight into a massive trap! If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block! Ugh. Oh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a formidable. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, for just in case. What kind of failsafe, exactly? An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon, and you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever! Yes. Yes, that's it! It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book! Just one problem. It's at my secret lab, which is sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? How did it find us so quickly? It just keeps coming for us. Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. We need to get out of here right now. Ivor says that if we don't, that thing will... Ivor! It is you! Good to see you too, Magnus. Anyway, Ivor's figured out that Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're going to lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. Axel, are you sure? Of course not. But you'll have three Witherstorms chasing you wherever you go. Yeah, if things get too intense, I'll duck into the nether or something. I'm tired of always being the selfish one. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, I want to go with Jesse. That feels like where I belong. Me too. But what do we do about Gabriel? The rest of you go. I'll stay here with Gabriel. Are you certain? Yeah, for old time's sake. Besides, I'm not going anywhere with Ivan. But Lucas is out there all by himself. There's nothing you can do for him now. Everyone, take good care of yourselves. You too. Hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The warrior's whip? You got it! Oh well. Real heroes don't need handshakes anyway. I'll see you at Soren's, alright? Not if I see you first.
Can we go any faster? Not unless you have a mine cart. It's never been so sore in my life. Not that I remember. <sighs> Feels like we've been riding forever. <sighs> I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Perlin noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. You know, I think I've heard of the Far Lands before. I'd be surprised if you hadn't. The Far Lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? You asking me? All I can think about is food. No kidding. I'm starving. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. Let's look around, see what we could find out. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? <laughs> You're coming with me. It's not much, but it'll help. Like they say, two potatoes is better than one. I think they say that. Hey, Jesse, have you found any food? I should probably take what I have back to the group.
Check out what I found. A potato. Incredible. Hey, at least it's food. Potato number two coming your way. Can I have this one? Hey, you had the last one. Oh, yeah. You, you take it, Axel. I'm Olivia. Right. Of course you are. Everyone. It isn't worth it, Jesse. Witches hate trespassers. Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. Let's get out of here. Good idea. <laughs> Guys! Jesse, did you find any more food? No. Well... Sort of, but it doesn't matter. There's a witch nearby. We saw her creeping through the swamp and... She's here! <laughs> oh no, you don't. Watch out for her potions. <laughs> See you later, you nasty old thing. Skeletons! Witches and skeletons? That's a deadly combination. Her potions combined with their arrows? Oh, we'll all be killed. We need to distract them. Get out of here. Fine. But how? The rest of you, go! I'll hold them off. What? Ivor, no! There's no time to argue. Just head for the corner of the glitch wall! The what wall? Hey, you witch! You're not the only one who can throw a potion! Come on! Guys, I think we lost them for... Wow! You lost them for wow? What is that? Oh. It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. I'd feel a lot better about going into this crazy wall thingy if I wasn't still hungry. At least Jesse found those potatoes. That might be the saddest sentence ever uttered. <laughs> Quite a sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory, like a monument to chaos itself. So what am I looking at here, exactly? This is a natural phenomenon. The intersection of two of the great walls that form the boundary of our world. Very few have seen it in person. Feeling kinda overwhelmed right now. You're not the only one. Ivor really went out of his way to make sure he'd never have visitors, huh? He was always secretive. It was both his weakness and his strength. Whatever Ivor's hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I'd feel better about this if Axel and Lucas were here. Come on!
Is this... a maze? It would appear so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? Because some part of you still knows Ivor. Fortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or... I don't know. We followed Ivor to the Far Lands. We might as well keep going. <sighs> Here we go. Into another dungeon of doom. thing I've ever seen. The far lands may be perilous, but they are indisputably fascinating. We should probably keep moving. Guys, looks like this is a... Oh no! <gasps> Jesse! <gasps> There's too many! We can't fight them all! Everyone, back! Guys, caught in the vines! <laughs> well, that worked, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. But now what do we do? We're all separated. Let's just head that way and find a place where the pads connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope I don't get lost in there. Hey, that must be Ivor's lab. Wish it was a little closer. This place just gets weirder and weirder. Yikes! Shoot! You have got to be kidding me. Olivia!
can't see a way across. Looks like Ivor kept some redstone dust handy. And a slime ball. Stone block, that'll come in handy. Huh, redstone blocks, some pistons. I wonder what this thing's supposed to be. Hello? Anyone? Olivia, is that you? Jesse, there you are. <laughs> I thought I'd never find you. Have you found a way out of here? A way out? I only just found you! This maze? We don't have time for this. Who even knows where the others are by now? I mean, the clock's ticking here, Jesse. Well, at least we're back together. Yes! The Dream Team reunited! <laughs> Now the Dream Team's just got to find a way across this gaping, bottomless pit. What about this thing? Could it get us across? It's some kind of flying barge. It would probably get us to the other side. But it's in really bad shape. And it's really complicated. You can fix it though, right? I don't know. I think it's out of my league. I wish I'd had more time to study with Eligard. Can't be that complicated, not if it's something Ivor built. Half built, which means it was hard enough that he got stuck and gave up. This layout doesn't even make any sense. What was Ivor thinking? Or maybe it's just me. I mean, Eligard herself said I don't have what it takes to be a great engineer. She was right, I just can't hack it. I might as well be a carrot farmer. Eligard didn't know you, not the way I do. But Jesse, she was the greatest redstone engineer ever. She was in the Order of the Stone. Sure, but the Order are still people, just like us. Right. Just like us. I mean, how are we the ones saving the world when even they don't have what it takes? Soren and Ivor are always at each other's throats. The greatest warrior in history has wither sickness. All I ever see Magnus do is argue. And we both know what happened to Eligard. If the Order can't do this, how are we supposed to? How are we supposed to do anything? So you just want to give up? In the middle of a maze at the edge of the world? I mean, they defeated an Ender Dragon. Can you name even one thing we've done right? And I don't mean managing to stay alive. Well, we won that building contest at Endercon. That was a contest, Jesse. Right, and the competition was stiff. Just think what we can do when there's nobody even watching. I like that way of looking at it. Ah, all right. I'll try it one more time. Wait a second. I think I see what he was trying to do. 
Jesse, take this piston, craft it into a sticky piston, then place it on the other side of the barge, along with a redstone block. You got all that? I think so. The sooner the better. Okay, let's put the redstone block where it's supposed to go and place these pistons. Holy cow, we did it! We need flint and steel to get it started. I'm proud of you, Olivia. Thanks, Jesse. And... Thanks for everything you said just before. It really helped. No problemo. This way! This way! Run! Go, go, go! Quick, onto the barge! That was close. Everyone okay? For the moment. Slime! I'm remembering something with slime. And ch chickens. Or maybe they were ducks? Yes, we used slime to break a chicken machine. There were chickens everywhere. Weird. Yeah, I kind of remember. Wait. Ugh, it's already fading. Fading... Take my advice, Petra. Some stories are better left forgotten. That was amazing. Get it? Amazing? Tinkering with the Far Lands is nothing to laugh about. Let's go see what he's hiding in there. How can one person need this many books? We should be careful. This place could be booby-trapped. Let's just start looking for the enchanting book. A brief history of cubism. Crafting for noobs, revised. A collector's guide to precious gems. None of these are enchanting books. How to train your slime. The various uses of mushroom stew. Potionology, volume 24. None of these seem to be enchanting books either. How I learned to stop worrying and love mining. The unabridged redstone encyclopedia. Zombies and pigs, an intimate memoir. I think I'm in the wrong part of the house. Twenty thousand blocks under the sea. Learn to succeed by thinking inside the box. Gotta be missing something.
Hmm, wonder what's in there. Makes sense that Ivor would have a crafting table. Hey, Olivia, I think there's some redstone over here. Looks like a circuit. We probably just need a lever to power it. Too bad I don't have one. Yeah, no lever, no functioning circuit. Wood planks, those will be useful. First, I'll need some sticks. Okay, got the sticks. There we go, good old fashioned lever. made for it, which it was. Let's see what this sucker does. Secret passageway, cool. Why would you build a secret passage in a house that nobody ever visits? More like, why wouldn't you? Secret passageways are cool. Good point. What the? Are you guys okay? We're fine, but the lever isn't working anymore. Stay there! We'll head down and see what we can find! Whoa! What is all this? Ha! Huh, incredible! He's gathered them all in one place! Gathered... what, exactly? The treasures of the Order of the Stone! Stories I could tell about these dusty old things. I don't see any enchanting books, though. Maybe through there? Uh, locked, of course. There must be some way to open it. These gas tiers, they're super hard to get. You don't know the half of it. It was our first official mission as the Order of the Stone. We fought those ghasts for hours, and these tears were our reward. Wow. Jesse, what are you doing? Uh, taking this really cool, rare item? We might need it to unlock that door. Uh, very well. Just be careful with it. See? These are prismarine crystals. You can only get these underwater, right? Precisely. We nearly ran out of oxygen getting these. <laughs> Eligard had to use a spare bucket just to grab a few extra breaths. We used most of these to craft a sea lantern. This is all that remained. Prismarine is such a cool word. Prismarine. Am I crazy, or is this a sea lantern? Ah, the very same one the Order built all those years ago. We were so green back then. It looks just as bright as on the day we crafted it. A sea lantern, huh? So where'd this packed ice come from? Well, we brought it back from the Ice Plains Spikes biome. 
It was colder there than anywhere we'd ever been, but <laughs> Magnus slipped so many times our laughter kept us warm. After that, we knew we were ready to face the Ender Dragon. Ooh, cold and slippery. Soren, is this the actual Ender Dragon egg? Huh, alas, yes. The only thing that remains of our final adventure together. No way I'm leaving this behind. Aha! A hopper! Why is Ivor hiding a hopper in his basement? Huh. Five slots. I don't think that goes in this hopper. Prismarine crystals. The Order used these crystals to make the Sea Lantern. Ghast Tears. Soren said the Order got these gas Tears on their very first mission together. A Sea Lantern. In you go. Soren said this lantern was crafted from prismarine crystals. Hmm. Packed ice. Let's put it here. Yes! You solved it. But how in the world did you know what order to put them in? There were 120 possible combinations. It was all in the order's history. The, the order of the... Order, so to speak. Nice work, Jesse. On the puzzle, I mean. Not, not the joke. You know, I often give Ivor a hard time, but for all his complaining, his time with the Order clearly meant a great deal to him. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, let's go get that enchanting book. By the stars, the Ender Dragon. With replica ender crystals and all. Wow, I always wondered what it looked like. Hmm, no way out. Soren, what's this thing supposed to be? It appears to be an homage to our battle with the Ender Dragon. Despite his anger, Ivor never stopped being fond of us. <laughs> and these are supposed to be the ender crystals? Scale models of them. They were the secret to the dragon's demise. The secret, huh? Maybe you should tell me the whole story. Ah, <sighs> if only you'd been there. It was a fight for the ages. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle ever. But even so, Ender Dragon was stronger than even I had imagined. I realized that it was drawing strength from the Ender Crystals, and that the crystals had to be destroyed. I hit the first with a perfectly placed arrow. The second I destroyed by launching myself on the shockwave of Magnus's TNT. Using only my strength and my wiles, I steered the foul beast toward the third crystal. I flew the dragon directly toward the final crystal. Only then did Gabriel deliver his famous final blow. Yeah. We became heroes, and eventually, legends. The greatest the world has ever known. Soren, you are so full of it. Why would you say that? You made it sound like you were the only one who mattered. I was the leader. Believe you me. Whatever. I wonder if that story will help me solve this puzzle. So Soren rode the dragon, huh? Hey, Reuben, give me a boost, will ya? Ah, 
Aha! But it did all happen like Soren said. Aha! There's another door? Hmm, interesting. Bravo! You did it! There's the book. Wait, aren't those the Ender Crystals? Like, the real ones? No, it, it can't be. Not here. Not after all this time. So why are the Ender Crystals in the Far Lands? I kept them. Fool actually kept them. He looked me in the eye and swore. Soren, how did these get here? I mean, you can't just move ender crystals, right? Jesse, this isn't this isn't what it looks like. Our story, uh, the story, it's it's mostly true. I swear, I swear it. Whatever you're thinking, I promise I can explain. Soren, I want the truth, and I want it now. I, I can't. We swore never to speak of it. I don't care. I'm afraid I haven't been honest with you, Jesse. We did defeat the Ender Dragon, but it wasn't exactly like I said. How not exactly? We got rid of it, but we didn't kill it, per se. In fact, we didn't even fight it. So what did you do to it? We didn't do anything. We used that damned command block. You used the command block to defeat the Ender Dragon? I'm afraid so. I knew your story didn't add up. Understand. When I found that blasted block, we were nobodies. But with its help, we became stronger. Faster, we could do so much more. The others had no idea what I was doing. Yet the more I used it, the more we came to depend on it. I knew it was only so long before someone would find out. The Ender Dragon, with replica Ender Crystals and all. Wow, I always wondered what it looked like. Hmm, no way out. Soren, what's this thing supposed to be? It appears to be an homage to our battle with the Ender Dragon. Despite his anger, Ivor never stopped being fond of us. <laughs> he was a big part of our team, after all. And these are supposed to be the Ender Crystals? Scale models of them. They were the secret to the dragon's demise. The secret, huh? Maybe you should tell me the whole story. Ah, <sighs> if only you'd been there. It was a fight for the ages. We'd spent weeks preparing for our greatest battle ever. 
but even so, Ender Dragon was stronger than even I had imagined. I realized that it was drawing strength from the Ender Crystals, and that the crystals had to be destroyed. I hit the first with a perfectly placed arrow. The second I destroyed by launching myself on the shockwave of Magnus's TNT. Using only my strength and my wiles, I steered the foul beast toward the third crystal. I flew the dragon directly toward the final crystal. Only then did Gabriel deliver his famous final blow. Yeah. We became heroes, and eventually, legends. The greatest the world has ever known. Soren, you are so full of it. Why would you say that? You made it sound like you were the only one who mattered. I was the leader. Believe you me. Whatever. Wonder if that story will help me solve this puzzle. So Soren rode the dragon, huh? Interesting. Aha! Uh -huh. There's another door? Hey, Reuben, give me a boost, will ya? No, it, it can't be. Not here. But those things were destroyed in your big heroic battle with the Ender Dragon, right, Soren? He kept them. The fool actually kept them. He looked me in the eye and swore. Soren, how did these get here? I mean, you can't just move Ender Crystals, right? Jesse, this isn't. This isn't what it looks like. Our story, uh, the story, it's, it's mostly true. I swear, I swear it. Whatever you're thinking, I promise I can explain. Soren, have you been lying all this time? No, no! Not exactly. I'm afraid I haven't been honest with you, Jason. We did defeat the Ender Dragon, but it, it wasn't exactly like I said. How not exactly? We got rid of it, but we didn't kill it, per se. In fact, we didn't even fight it. Soren, just spit it out. What happened? Do you want the truth? We used that damned command block. You used the command block to defeat the Ender Dragon? I'm afraid so. I knew your story didn't add up. Understand. When I found that blasted block, we were nobodies. But with its help, we became stronger. Faster, we could do so much more. The others had no idea what I was doing. Yet the more I used it, the more we came to depend on it. I knew it was only so long before someone would find out. So, 
I concocted a plan. I would use the command block to blink the Ender Dragon out of existence. <laughs> Securing our status as legends forever. We told the world we defeated a dragon. And the rest is history. Why would you do that? You... You lied, even to your closest friends! All I can say is... I was a fool. So you finally admit it. Soren, how could you? Ivor. How long have you guys been standing there? Long enough that they heard the whole thing! You lied to the whole world? You didn't think you could keep it secret forever, did you, Soren? The truth hurts! Doesn't it? But Ivor... Why? Is this why you left the Order? Because Soren lied? Because they all did. Soren, Gabriel, Magnus, Eligard. They agreed to keep this a secret. And you... You agreed to stay quiet too. In exchange for all of our treasures. <gasps> I've technically never told anybody. Jesse discovered the truth on his own. So this whole thing, the wither you unleashed, it's all been to teach the Order a lesson? To teach the world a lesson. To show you who the Order really are. Liars, cowards. And now, they know. Well, it worked. We know the truth. And if we don't deal with that wither storm that you created, Ivor, none of it will matter. My wither plan obviously backfired. You think? I didn't know we'd end up with three of those things tearing the world apart. Whoa. I almost forgot for a moment. Well, they are. And while we sit around talking about your dysfunctional order of liars, those things are still out there wrecking the world. Jesse's right. Destroying the command block is all that matters anymore. How ironic that the best thing the command block gave us the very means to destroy it. Spare us the poetry. It's not your strong suit. I've had this book for years. Never thought I'd actually have to use it. This thing better work, because if it doesn't... You don't need to say it. Follow me. I'll show you. Ivor? I'm sorry. About everything. Yes, well... It doesn't matter now. Grab some ingredients and craft a weapon. I'll show you how to enchant it. Sweet. Let's see what Ivor's got in here. Let's see, there's a bunch of crafting stuff and... Diamond score! <clears throat> so, I can craft whatever I want, huh? Anything at all. I've never owned a diamond weapon. Just wait till you enchant it. Let's see what this enchanting book is made of. Behold! My enchanted diamond sword! <laughs> yes, that should do the job nicely. But if you're fighting those wither monsters head on, you'll want better armor too. I enchanted these for the order. They're about as strong as it comes even able to withstand TNT. Any preference? I have eight different sets to choose from. All right, let me take a look at them. It's all quite durable and sturdy. They won't stop damage, but they'll help. All right, this is the set. Yes, a fine choice. Now go ahead and put it on. Look. Ready for action. You can take some for your friends as well. Sounds good to me. Wow, 
cool armor, Jesse. Thanks. And there's plenty to go around. Now let's get back to Soren's fortress and see how the Witherstorms are doing against those Endermen. My poor fortress! I see Endermen, so this means the plan's working, right? Shouldn't the Endermen have dismantled those things already? Or am I just confused? It's not just you. Something's wrong. Jesse, over here! Axel! You guys made it! Nice freaking armor, by the way. Makes you all a lot easier to look at. Good to see you too, Axel. Axel, the cavalry has arrived. Or is it the cavalry have arrived? Eh, whatever. The Endermen, they're not angry enough. I mean, some of them are, but a lot of them are just standing around moving blocks. You know, being Endermen. Ah, oh, blast! Well, it's nothing we can't handle, right? Uh, I'm not so sure about that. Now is not the time for cold feet, Soren! So what's the plan? I mean, I know we gotta go in there, but... Confront the Witherstorm and fight it to the death. Yeah. You do mean it's death, right? Axel, just put on your helmet. What helmet? Here. Nice. I was feeling a little left out. Guys, let's go kick some command block butt. see the command block? I don't think it's exposed. We need to get more Endermen focused on the Wither Storm. How do you make Endermen focus? I can't even make myself focus. We, we shouldn't be here. None of this is going according to plan. Soren, what are you doing? I, uh, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed meeting you. Soren! Soren, you coward! I can't believe you! I can. Jesse, you can handle things out here, right? What? I can't let him get himself killed! Just get to the command block and destroy it! Soren! So much for the mighty Order of the Stone. It doesn't matter. We have work to do. We need to get those Endermen to attack it! Tractor beam! Jesse, that's it! Make them chase you into the tractor beam! How do you like that, you purple-eyed freak? They're falling for it. Ah. Axel, are those snowballs? Yeah, I found them near the cave. Here. All right, let's see how you like this.
right, come and get me. Ruben, can you give me a little help? Nice one, Ruben. need to find you a way up. Or build you a way up. That's it. E everyone, empty your pockets. Let's see. I've got redstone and cobblestone from Ivor's armory. I have some TNT from Boomtown. I've got pistons, repeaters. Lucas gave me some wool. Oh, and I took some slime from the maze. Oh, and I still have that mine cart. That's got to be enough to make something, right? I mean... If we use the TNT on, say... The minecart? Or those pistons. And we do have all that cobblestone. Maybe we could build a ramp, or even go straight up vertically. Or find a way to use redstone. We're close to an answer. I can feel it. Guys, check it out. We build a cobblestone ramp, lay down some track, attach the TNT to the minecart, and launch it off the ramp like a rocket. <laughs> Heck yeah! I love that idea. So what are we waiting for? Let's hurry up and... Oh, look out! Petra! Axel! Ah. Whoa! Ah. I can't hold on! I got you! Lucas! You're here! Ocelots, distract that wither storm! Hey you! Get a load of this! <laughs> Lucas, thank you. Anything for a friend. Now let's hurry up and build this thing! You guys done yet? Just need a few more seconds. Okay, it's finished. Quick, climb on. Jesse, you can do this. I know you can. We all do. Thanks, guys. It means a lot. Now go demolish that command block. Surprised me like that. On the other hand, I'm kind of glad not to be alone right here. Just stay close, okay? Whoa, I recognize these people. Now 
it's time to destroy you. I mean it this time. down thing once and for Ruben hold on buddy
There you are! Jesse, are you all right? We thought you were... I mean... I didn't think he'd made it. Reuben! Where's Reuben? I thought he was with you! I remember! I remember! You remember what? I remember everything! Oh, Petra! I'm so happy for you! Hey, hey! Do you guys hear something? Reuben! Hero, you know that? You just helped save the world. Come on, Reuben, say something. It's okay, boy. I'm here. I'm here. Jesse, I am... I am so sorry. He was a great pig. People used to look at me like that once, Jesse. Perhaps they deserve to know the truth about the Order. All those lies we told them. Maybe I should finally come clean. You're right. They do deserve to know. We all owe a great debt to Jesse and his friends. But I owe a debt to you people as well. Which is why... There is something I want to tell you about the Order. The Order of the Stone is not what you all believed. We were frauds. We used the command block to falsify our legacy. We were no heroes. So it is time for the world to celebrate new heroes. Real heroes.
Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I know you think I'm up here because I saved the world or something, but the truth is I didn't do it alone. Far from it. You see, I had my friends with me. It was Olivia, Axel, Petra, Lucas. They believed in me right from the start. I mean, they also set me straight when my head was getting too big, but that's because they're good like that. Yeah, they really are. It's crazy to think my friends and I started out in a tree house, and now we've been to some of the weirdest places in the world. We even made it to Redstonia, where we met Eligard and some of her interesting followers. But when all was said and done, you know what really mattered? My hero, Reuben the pig. He may have seemed like just a pig to most people, but he was so much more. And at the end of the day, he saved us all. For Reuben! Jesse, this is the Nether Star that dropped when the Wither Storm was destroyed. You want to do the honors? Oh man, this is going to be so cool. to introduce to you the new Order of the Stone. And so it was that a new Order of the Stone was born. One whose adventures were only just beginning. For though the world had been saved and the command block destroyed, there are many more worlds than just this one. 